So what is the next game? Um, the next game is Orcas against Cheke Budejovice. Oh, this will be a, a interesting game too. Um, hmm, is there <coughs> are there different styles here? Uh, the Czech. I think they play more physical than uh, uh, the Orcas. Yes, the Orcas are are big swimmers. They swim a lot and. Because they learn from uh, the experience that you know they are tend to be a little bit smaller than European players, so the the strength game is not where they can profit for. So they rather swim, and this is something you know we were discussing with the players from the uh, sub 21 that were at home, saying that that was hard for them when they had to play against Turkey or against Germany, because they were uh, too physical and too much on the concentrate on strength and fighting and not the swimming, and they're so much uh, used to swim, and um, that's so much exhausting to play uh, and, and for the ball, uh, you know, the, the fight once against one, they rather swim all the time because they are used to that. Uh, and this is quite different uh, of the, 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 the game um, we have here. So, uh, Colombia, tenemos uh, <laughs> a gente mirando. Um, so, uh, we are, uh, 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 York is going to check into his hotel and is coming back later, so it's... Um, Lorena and me uh, alone again, uh, probably uh, uh, we don't know what we should talk about now. Well, could, could, so could I put you on the phone, Jörg, while <laughs> you're away? Please, no. Skype. Thank you. Please. No, no, it has been great. I mean, you know, also for the people, so they don't have to listen just to the two of us. And yeah, have yeah, they don't like my voice, I heard. <coughs> um. Okay, um, Orcas... Um, we are not uh, taking sides, uh, even though we're taking uh, uh We have uh, now the Czech uh, team of Czeske Budejovice against Orcas. And um, I think Orcas here is favorite. Uh, they started already. Ah, um, we have uh, several questions here. Um, we try to stay more in the game. Why is uh, one referee doing apnea without uh, a tank? This is uh, Nordic style. Uh, they do that uh, because they think they can be closer to the uh, uh, to the game. It's typical uh, Nordic style. Um, yeah, you can do that. Um, and no, we don't ban. We are not able to ban. Oh, this. Okay, let's stay in the game. This is the first uh, goal of uh, Orca against, against uh, the minute. Czech. And uh, probably this tells us something about the game. Uh, if uh, the Orcas are uh, able to score that fast, uh, the, uh, uh, the Czech have problems with the style the Orcas are playing here. And uh, just for Philip, uh, we are not able to ban anybody from uh, um, the, chat. the chat. It's, it's physically not possible for us. Um, if you cannot log in, uh, you have a problem uh, with uh, with uh, uh, the interface. So if you don't know how to use technology, don't blame us. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, Orcas against Czech Budejovice. 1-0 uh, already, the first goal under the minute. Hey Lilo, good to see you in the chat. Hope you're fine. <laughs> oh, we hola, miss you too. Hola, hola, hola. Lilo. So let's go in the game. Uh, Czech uh, are trying to punch through the very uh, fast forechecking defense in the middle of the pool from the Orcas. Uh, they, they don't succeed in getting any farther, but uh, the Orcas also have problems to get hold of the ball. But they are leading 1-0 now, and there was a holding without ball. Um, free throw against uh, Czech with holding. Um, so... Well, Boo Boo, if you disagree, I would disagree too, but uh, that's the way it is. Uh, uh, we can agree on disagreeing uh, on this matter, uh, but I agree with you, so we all agree to disagree. Um, okay, back in the game. 
uh, orcas are close to the uh, basket of uh, the Czechs and they're coming from the close side and they're doing their fast game around the basket looking for the spot and the possible uh, PlayStation uh, of one of their players. Long pushed uh, balls to keep the defense in the move, opening up a gap and uh, so the one of the, uh, their own players can position themselves right there. So uh, um, this is quite tough for the Czech because they don't seem to have a, a remedy in the forechecking to keep the Orcas with the ball away. Um, this is, uh, looks like the game belongs to Orca, at least in the first half right now. And there's even one Orca player uh, taking possession of the goal. Um, now Czech recovered the ball and they try to break free but they cannot get almost cannot get away from the wall at their basket. They're now at the surface fighting forward. Orcas already uh, are in ball possession and going forward with a fast uh, ball play. They like to swim in and do the pass to the side without looking, knowing their uh, colleagues will be there. And we are in the close side in the corner of the basket, at the basket, and the Orcas try to push there. And but they have a hard time. Uh, Bucevic is uh, defending quite heavily and uh, again, uh, um, we see uh, Orca players stealing the basket uh, from uh, um, the Czech. And here it is, uh, use of this uh, stolen basket, and they just uh, punch the wall in. Very well done. Well, uh, we play here the international CMS rules, that's true. In the German... Uh, 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 rules, it wouldn't be allowed, uh, for example, to punch the ball with a fist. Internationally, it's allowed. Hey Lilo, how is the weather in uh, Colombia? Hope you have sun and a beautiful day. Of course day. they have sun. Of course they have sun, <laughs> okay. We so hope you enjoy the sun. So 2-0 two two and 5 minutes left. So the first half of the first half of uh, uh, this game is uh, already over and Orca is leading. I think it's their game. Oh, this was a that pass was right a, yeah. in the stomach of an uh, Orca player. Which, uh, the ball just dropped well, down. That's quite um, dangerous right now. I mean, although, well, the uh, Orca attacker already got the, the ball and they're swimming a contra-attack very fast. Oh, this empty will basket. be uh, an empty basket. Wow. Whoa. Great job. Uh, increíble ese contra. Um, no sé quién fue, pero la verdad es que están haciendo un partidazo 3 eh, a 0. Quedan 4 minutos del primer tiempo. Y bueno, yo creo que eh, era claro que Orcas era el favorito y lo están poniendo bien en claro. Um, así que bueno, nos queda <ríe> todavía un par de minutos para, para el primer tiempo y seguramente... Um, well, this is a good example for uh, the Orcas dominate the game right now and the Czech are uh, not giving up but they have a hard time uh, building their uh, attack mode and uh, going uh, forward um, close to the basket because the, the forward checking uh, of the, uh, the Orcas is, is really, really good. But right now we see... Uh, uh, the check at the basket, they're tackled away to the surface in the corner. Now in the, s in the, the ball is still free, but there was, I think there was one uh, uh, player taking uh, the step as a means to push himself. And it's a free throw for the Orca, but uh, the player was moving, so they repeat free throw for the Orcas. Yes, um, so someone is saying that they shouldn't be allowed to, to punch the ball. We I had mean, this in Germany, discussion, yes. Yeah, we had, uh, it's not al allowed anymore, but internationally in the rules it's not forbidden. It was and I have to say that the Orcas do it well. I mean, we have played against them plenty of times and they're never hit in the hand or so. True, but, but uh, uh, there is the there. possibility. Yeah, oh, the this was a nice one too. Again, uh, uh, one of the Orca players was stealing the goal away from uh, uh, the Czech uh, goalkeeper and he was receiving the ball in a long pass and uh, just turning around without any resistance pushing the ball in. Very well done by the Orcas. We have two minutes uh, 20 left 
uh, in this game, and it's 4 0 for the Orcas. Yes, internationally, uh, I think it was. Uh, uh, it was the, the wish of the Nordic countries. Um, it's true you make the, ball, the, the game faster if you're allowed to punch uh, the ball, but uh, the kind of injuries you can endure uh, when you uh, have your hand in between, especially if you play like the Germans play with a safe uh, way to keep the ball inside of your arm, uh, the danger of injury is quite heavy, but there is a discussion about that going on. So. Uh, less than two minutes left from the first half, four, zero for Orgas, and that means Orgas in meeting Molde uh, later today at around 8.30 um, for the semi-final. Um, we have here a, a message from Claudia. Hello, Claudia, you're online too. Um, Yes, uh, the third goal probably, uh, as you see, was from Manuel. He played the uh, U21 in Sandefjord. And you know this awesome picture where he, when he scored and he went out of the water and <laughs> the picture was taken quite beautiful. Um, I don't know if the Scandinavians are more hardcore than the Germans. Uh, that's another discussion. <laughs> <laughs> then let's not start that here. Let's, let's not start that one. Please. Okay, Orcas are in the tag again, coming from the close side. Um, <laughs> and uh, we already have this discussion, Gustavo. It's not it's Orcas, not the Orcas. I know what. Uh, <laughs> uh, huh. Orcas. <laughs> yes. Um, but but uh, yeah, we had this discussion last yeah. year. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier for for us to say the Orcas. <laughs> Than orcas, it, it sounds like something's missing. Yeah, I know, Boo Boo. I know uh, you was not comparing Germans to Scandinavians. I don't know. I was just joking. Okay. Um, so here, uh, uh, it's again a counter attack. This is Samuel uh, coming from above. And right and left, right. he can pass to any of their playmates, and uh, the defenders made it on time to catch the ball while the uh, orca attacker was in the process of attacking the goalie. They are on top of the basket of the uh, Czech um, side, and uh, we can see a lot of bubbles here. Uh, apparently, when Czech player has the ball, is trying to swim away, but Orcas is uh, making it very difficult for it. Well, now we have three minutes break. The first um, half is over, and uh, Orcas had. Uh, they dominate. Already, yeah. yeah, I think they dominate uh, this game, and uh, they're quite sure and uh, self-reliant. Uh, Lilo, I don't remember the change in the rules. Ha! Huh. Now you got me. To change in which rules? I don't remember. I have to admit. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I know. I'm talking about the. Uh, yeah, the pr um, probably the input the, um, ah, the that, that, that Vine was. Uh, ah, okay, yes, yeah, we'll yes, discuss yes. all about that uh, yeah, after. Not, I not here. Lilo is my bet. Um, todavía no le, tra no le pude terminar de traducir a, a Vine lo que dijeron ustedes, pero la idea era bueno eh, ponerse luego de la Champions a ver todo ese tipo de cosas, así que eh, prometo está eso ahí. Allá lo discutiremos. Sí. Don't take sides. No, I don't. I love the shirt. It's nice t-shirts. Yeah, thank you. I don't even know what's 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 on it. It's I just love the color. So, a um, little less. I mean, one and a half minutes uh, left from the break, and I think uh, this match is quite. Um, it's not decided. I think that the. It's not decided. You say. No, I I, w I wouldn't say it's a four. Well, it's it's very difficult, and uh, I think. Uh, uh, Orcas <laughs> dominate yeah. the game, um, but nevertheless, uh, uh, some mistakes, a uh, 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 penalty or a uh, uh, time penalty could change a game uh, in 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, it will be it would be difficult. And the way Orcas dominated the game, I don't see how the Czech could uh, succeed in winning it. But never say never. Um, and. Uh, it was a really well done uh, game, especially the counter attack by uh, Manuel. If it was Manuel, uh, congratulations to that. Uh, quite impressive. So, uh, 40. Hey, Hector is in the picture. <laughs> hey, Hector. He's living with us too in our. Uh, yeah, I think we have flat. almost half of the team of the Yorkers at home. <laughs> yeah. We, we don't know no, who's living there. No, which is nice there because it's anymore. a. Yeah, exactly. We totally lost control. <laughs> 
but it's nice because then you know you can discuss uh, about all the problems uh, and all the the, the 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 style, the games, what the experience uh, in the in the matches here in Sunday for and and then pass it through you know to you uh, and that's the, the that's flow of information yeah. we have right now and it's from amazing. the whole global underwater rugby world it's really amazing and it's uh, it's totally stimulating uh, to have all these players around and uh, um, being able to exchange ideas and uh, thoughts so second half orca against uh, uh, the czech republic uh, colombia against the czech and uh, here we go, there's a fast attack uh, on the Orca goal, but there's only one player and his, uh, his colleagues are coming in a little bit too late already. The Orcas are swarming around uh, their own basket and it's, uh, it's a call from a referee. Free throw against the uh, Orcas and they uh, uh, defend their basket at once. They don't hesitate, uh, no chance for the Czech to steal away the basket. And now the Czechs coming in, another call. Uh, referee's pointing out one player, it's a, a, a Colombian player, I think it's Birgit Lütke uh, refereeing there. She's pointing out one player. I don't see what the sign is. She's going up again, telling another one. Uh, the game is already starting, the referee isn't down again, so it was a free throw against uh, Colombia. Um, and Colombia is breaking free, they have the ball, and they start... Uh, yeah, they're, I mean, they're, the speed is down, they're like, you know... Is it? Take it a little bit, yeah, a little bit, I think. Um, I mean, it's not the first game they have, uh, the teams are getting tired. Uh, the Czechs had already, this is the fourth game today, and they see there is no chance to win. So um, probably it's better to uh, just defend and try to go, you know, to... to go over the distance. <coughs> just finish but the game I and then concentrate on the game that maybe they can win after this one. Because uh, if they... Um, they lose here. Let me see again whom they're supposed to play. Let me see. Uh, well, that would be. Mm, that would be later today. No, I'm. Hold on, I'm confused. Yeah, later today against uh, the Finnish team. So, you know, rather better uh, to save some energy for that match since this one, uh, it's already lost. And Orcas now has to try to steal the basket of the Finnish team. The, the Finnish team, the Finnish team, sorry, the Czech team, uh, consequent um, occupy the basket and the defender is in position. But um, I, it's like speed is a little bit down from the start of the game when everything is here was open and uh, we have one uh, of uh, Orca's team that steal the basket and is waiting and if something Orca's have is a really long underwater time and so he can stay there okay now not any longer but it was quite a long time I think he and was pushed away he was looking to the referee because he was pushed away yeah. from the goal and now one of the Orcas is going in alone uh, to open up space and he's turning around uh, to give uh, his teammates room to go in. But already the defenders are uh, blocking uh, the goal. And uh, this, uh, the, the, the Orcas have uh, in the, in the around the basket they they can almost do what they want the techs are uh, um, reduce their defense on the basket there is no forging right here um, and now we have a cluster in the corner and 
And here's a check player uh, attacking the Orca basket. And he's coming on hard on the close side, but it's tackled away by an Orca player. And uh, it wasn't really much of a chance for him alone um, to score, but still they try. You, you see they have the heart and the will um, to go forward and at least to try. And uh, these are the Orcas. Uh, doing a quite fast pass right in front of the oh that was close uh, there was a pass right in front of the goalkeeper which was pushed away by the goalkeeper and uh, still the orcas recovered it and the ball was next to the basket and with a third stroke by their hand uh, they succeeded in pushing in the ball in the basket um, so it's uh, 5-0 um, for the Orcas and uh, they stopped the, the advance of the Czech player, stole away the ball from them and are now again in attacking mode, uh, coming from the close side, from the corner, waiting there. They're leading, they have time, it's uh, four minutes left, four minutes, uh, 17 left and uh, there's not much of a uh, of a risk now for the Orcas, they can play it cool um, and don't exhaust themselves. Uh, as long as they stay in ball control, there is no danger. They, uh, uh, they, the the check will score against them. And still, they are trying uh, to get in from the from the close side into the basket uh, of uh, the check. And. Uh, it's really difficult for the check to uh, control with the forechecking uh, what is happening around uh, their basket. Um, it's they, the, the time is ticking and the Orcas know it and uh, they don't speed up too much. They don't need to exhaust themselves and uh, they force the defense um, from the check into going up and down and that's tiring and they, uh, th this opens only this opens uh, space only for two players to four check and they are already tired and it's quite difficult to withstand uh, the attacks of the Orcas. But now uh, they recover the ball, the check uh, recovered a long pass that was uh, in front of the, the, the goal, was a holding without ball. It's a free throw against the Orcas. So it's two minutes 30 left uh, here. And uh, one of the Czech already is in position under the basket of the Orcas. Uh, but the uh, ball does not seem to reach him. And we are already on a counter attack in direction of uh, uh, the Czech basket. But the Orcas uh, don't try that hard. They uh, go in, probe a little bit, and then go out again. Uh, in, in this physical game, you don't, you don't want to exhaust yourself. Uh, they try like this in this scene from the open side with a little push. One push doesn't succeed, so they go out again and play again. Uh, they are, time is ticking for them, one minute 40 left. So it's, uh, yeah, this thing. Uh, I'm back, sorry. This thing is done and uh, it's in favor of, um, of the Orcas. Orcas. Of Orcas. <laughs> Um, yeah, five zero, and you know what I mean. I mean, it's like the, the game is going like a bit slower as well because both teams. I mean, already established who is the winner, uh, and again they they have been. I mean, imagine this is um, the Czechs had already, as I said before, I think three games, if I don't remember, one, two, three. This is the fourth, and they're going to have, um, I believe, the fifth. Later, yeah, this is the fourth game already, and they're going to have a fifth game later. So even though it is two time ten minutes, and it's continually um, still. Oh, uh, wow, that was that was a bad one. Uh, there was uh, 
Uh, and another goal, so uh, probably this, uh, the referee saw and gave advantage to the Orcas. One of the Orcas was swimming in the goalkeeper of the Czech and was pushing him away with the arm around the neck without the ball. Uh, that's hard. 20 seconds left. Uh, this game is uh, over. Where there is no chance for the Czech uh, to win here, even not uh, to score anymore. So it's a 6 0 against the check and uh, call from the referee to one zero and here we go well done uh, Orcas also well done uh, uh, the check yes in two hours they play again their fifth game that's tough that's uh, yeah but they are tough so yeah that's a heavy game bye bye Oren our uh, one of our young new players. So uh, sorry, was six zero or how? Um, yeah, six zero at the end of the, the score. 